Hey everybody, I'm Miss Aline. Thanks for joining us on Kids Corner for Armstrong Cable Channels 20 and 100. Today we're at Poland Union Elementary School with the first grade class and it is a springtime affair. We've got raindrops, we've got all sorts of splishy splashy fun and lots of blooms in store. So stay tuned for that and more. Hello there. said hello there. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Ola. How is everybody today? Good. Good. So, um, you guys, are you about ready for springtime? Yes. Yeah. Me too. It's been very cold and it's been spring for a couple of weeks now, but still been snowing, hasn't it? And sometimes it takes a minute for that to kind of change all the way over. But when it does, can somebody tell me what happens in springtime? You right here. Oh my goodness, flowers start to bloom. Everybody knows, I think, that in springtime, the flowers start to bloom. And that's something we're gonna talk about today. Can somebody else tell me something that happens in springtime? You way in the back. It gets, it gets warm. It does get warmer, doesn't it? Can somebody else tell me something new that happens in springtime? You right here? It rains. It rains a lot usually, right? Um, somebody else tell me. In fact, first, before we move on from that, can somebody tell me what rain and flowers have to do with each other? Um, you with the pink shirt, second in, right in the middle, yep. They, they water the flowers. The rain waters the flowers, and that makes them what? Can somebody tell me? You with the orange shirt right there? Bloom. It makes them bloom, very good. Everybody know that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, can somebody else tell me something else that happens in springtime? Somebody I haven't heard from yet. Um, you right here with the white shirt. The sun comes up and makes it warm. The sun does come up and make it warm, and we talked about that. Can somebody tell me something else that happens that we haven't talked about? You way in the back with the blue shirt. Yep, yep, you. Um, the bees start to fly. <gasps> nice and loud. The bees start to fly. The bees do start to fly around, don't they? Um, how about you right there with the blue headband? I mean, purple headband, I'm sorry, yep. Um, the sun melts all the snow. That's right, the sun does melt all the snow. And two more people, you with the white shirt. Uh, the butterflies start coming out of the chrysalis. That's a great one. The butterflies do start coming out of their cocoons, don't they? Okay, and you right here. Um, the it, the grass starts, starts to, it starts to be nicer in the snow, and the sun helps the snow melt. Yep, the sun helps the snow melt, and then the grass starts to come up, doesn't it? Okay, I think we might have one or two things left, so let me get two more people I haven't heard from yet. You right here with the blue shirt. Sometimes in the winter, it stays dark for a while, and in the Spring and summer, it stays light out for a while. That's an important thing. The days seem to be a little longer, don't they, in the springtime? Anybody notice that lately? No. Yeah. Think about it. Tonight, while you're watching stuff kind of change over, think about what time it was getting dark, if you kind of noticed during the winter, and think about what time it's getting dark now. And we also have something called daylight savings time, which kind of changes our time a little bit. And that actually is part of why for us, it seems like the days get even longer during the springtime. Okay, and one more, way in the back. You get to play outside. And because it's a little bit warmer and the days are a little bit longer, you have a little bit more time to play outside, don't you? Everybody like that? Me too. 
So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start talking about our two stories and they have a lot to do with rain. We talked about that. Watering the flowers with the rain. We talked about that. And all the fun things that go on in springtime. Everybody ready? Did I hear a no? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. That's what I wanna hear. Everybody's ready. Okay, so let's start with our first one. And sometimes right now, while it's rainy still, can't really play outside all the time, can we? Especially not when it starts doing the thunder and lightning thing. You have to go inside and find things to do. But sometimes, when you have to, you might walk around outside in the rain. Anybody ever walked around outside in the rain? Yeah. And as long as it's not thundering and lightning, it's kind of fun sometimes, isn't it? So this one is called Rainy Day and it's by Patricia Lacken. Who are our characters here? Everybody just tell me together. Crocodiles. Crocodiles, alligators, they might be alligators. And um, do they usually walk around with umbrellas? No. No. That would be a little weird. If you saw one of them with uh, an umbrella it'd be a little weird so let's see what is he saying not another rainy day cried Sam Pam will and Jill okay. nothing to make nothing to bake nothing to paint nothing to play let's go outside anyway Umbrellas, said Sam. Raincoats, said Pam. Rain boots, said Will. Rain hats, said Jill. Can anybody tell me what's going on with their names? Somebody I haven't heard from yet. You right here with the white shirt. They rhyme, their names all rhyme. Ready, said pa Sam, Pam, Will, and Jill. The road got wet, the fog got thick. They didn't know which, which road to pick. They took a left, they took a right. A pirate ship came into sight. Oh my goodness. Then a whale and a monster face. Just what was this scary place? A mini golf park. Anybody ever been to a mini golf park? And they have lots of kind of a fiction type of places in a mini golf park a lot of times, right? A mini golf park, cheered Sam, Pam, Will, and Jill. Let's play. Smack it, said Sam. Put it, said Pam. Hit it, said Will. Lost it, said Jill. Uh-oh. Forget it, said Sam, Pam, Will, and Jill. Grrr. Who's there, cried Sam. A bear, cried Pam. Wild hog, cried Will. A dog, cried Jill. <laughs> With a baseball, cried Sam, Pam, Will, and Jill. Let's play. Line up, said Sam. Heads up, said Pam. Wind up, said Will. Batter up, said Jill. Anybody ever play baseball? Hop up, said Sam, Pam, Will, and Jill. Got it, said Sam. Got it, said Pam. Got it, said Will. Not it, said Jill. <laughs> hail, said Sam, Pam, Will, and Jill. Does anybody know what hail is? Somebody I haven't heard from. You with the green shirt way in the back. Um, hail is like ice. Like icy rain, right? It's kind of like, and sometimes it can be really, really tiny little clumps of icy rain, and sometimes they can be kind of big. So we see, it's hailing. I'm slipping, cried Sam. I'm sliding, cried Pam. I'm soaking, cried Will. I'm sinking, cried Jill. Now what, cried Sam, Pam, Will, and Jill. Go home, said Sam. No way, said Pam. Then where, said Will. Follow him, said Jill. To the library, said Sam, Pam, Will, and Jill. <laughs> 
They each took a look, they each took a book, they each took a nook. And a nook is kind of like a little corner. Pirates said Sam, golf said Pam, baseball said Will, dogs said Jill. So they're each reading about the stuff that they just saw, huh? Perfect. Side, Sam, Pam, Will, and Jill. Did anybody like their rainy day adventure? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yay! I like that story too. Hold your questions because we've got one more story and then we've got a very fun art project. All right, Splish Splash Spring by Jan Carr. And let's see, pop quiz. Does this look like it's closer to fiction or nonfiction? Fiction. Nonfiction, because it's got real children in it, doesn't it? Spring is sloppy, so raindroppy, stomp in puddles, splash about. Anybody ever stomped in puddles? Anybody get really wet stomping in puddles? Sun comes peaking, and we talked about that. Hide and seeking. Days are playful. We talked about that too, huh? Spring's a sprout. Chip, chip, peeping, cheeping. Who's that peeping? Baby robins beg for bugs. And that's another thing that happens. All the little baby animals start being born and little baby birds are born in the spring usually. Better dig one, get a big one. Grub up earthworms, ew. How about that? Anybody ever dig in the mud during the spring for worms? No. Or anybody ever do gardening and happen to find worms? Grub up earthworms, slimy slugs. Hocus pocus, there's a crocus. Plucky petals, brave the chill. Frilly silly daffodilly, nilly willy down the hill. Kites are swooping, loop de looping, snapping, flapping. Look at me. <gasps> That's another thing. A lot of times, because the the weather is changing over, it's very windy. And yesterday we had a very windy day. Did anybody happen to see how windy it was yesterday? Yeah. I was actually outside and things were blowing away from me with the wind. When the wind comes out, that's perfect for flying kites, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Anybody ever flown a kite? Fun, huh? Kites are swooping, loop de looping, snapping, flapping. Look at me. Wind comes whipping, grip is slipping, tangle dangle up a tree. Uh oh. Yeah, that happens sometimes when it's really windy too. Your kite might get stuck in a tree or it might get knotted up. Boughs are bloomy, so perfumey. Thunder threatens, skip, skidoo. Race the raindrops, window pane drops. I pick posies. And we see there's lots of flowers in this story, aren't there? And that is something we talked about, all the flowers of spring just for you. And that is the end of our Splish Splash Spring story. Anybody like that story? Yeah. Me too. All right guys, so now it is time for our very own Super Springtime Flowery Bowery Art Project. Everybody ready? Yeah. Yes. Let's get going. You each have one flower 
that looks like this. It might be a different color, but it looks like this and it was on your paper. Everybody take that first flower and you are going to take your paint and let's say I have purple paint. And what we're doing, ultimately, you can choose how you want to do this. You can do just a few flowers like this, or you can do several flowers like this. Okay, so, but here's the hint. You put enough paint so that it's covering your flower, but not so much that it's really, really, really goopy. Otherwise, your flowers won't come out clear. So, I'm gonna take my flower and I'm going to dip it into my paint. And I'm going to dip it into a, color, a couple of colors of my paint on different portions of my flower. Like so. See my two colors there and my flower. So I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna make sure that all of my petals are covered and then I'm just gonna dab it a little bit on my paper that I'm using for my paint just to take the extra off. But make sure that you've covered your flower in the paint, okay, so that it's like that. Then I want you to make sure that your petals, and it might be a little messy, but make sure your petals are all going downwards and they're not all squished into the middle. So make sure that your flower's kind of flat-ish. And then carefully, you are going to Take your piece of paper and you're going to place it carefully right down like that onto your paper. And then flatten your petals out, just leave it on the paper, don't move the flower around. want stems. What I did was I just took some regular q-tips and I cut them in half. So we have a tiny little paintbrush now. You're going to take your q-tip and you're going to dip it in your green lightly. Don't put a lot because then it'll be harder to control. So just put a little bit of q-tip of paint on the top of your q-tip and you're just going to make a stem by going under a flower and drawing a line. everybody, I'm Miss Aline and I hope you guys had fun with our springtime bloom art project and two fun stories. So thank you for watching Armstrong Cable Kids Corner on channels 20 and 100. And today we've had a lot of fun at Poland Union Elementary School with the first grade class. So until next time, we say goodbye. goodbye.